Hello, second graders. Today, our learning targets are, I can infer an author's opinion given in a text, and I can discuss and write reasons the author gives to support his or her opinion. Now you read it with me. I can infer an author's opinion given in a text, and I can discuss and write reasons the author gives to support his or her opinion. Today you will reread how bats help out and infer the author's opinion and discuss and write the reasons given to support the opinion. You will need the text, How Bats Help Out, and your Helping Pollinators Journal, page two for this lesson, plus a pencil. First, let's read the text, How Bats Help Out, again. How Bats Help Out. Have you ever seen a bat before? Bats are the only mammals that can fly. They are nocturnal animals. That means they are awake at night. They do their hunting and feeding after the sun has gone down. Different kinds of bats eat different things. Some of them eat mostly insects. Others eat mostly fruit. And some eat pollen, nectar, and other parts of flowering plants. All of these kinds of bats are very important. Why? Bats that eat insects help keep the number of bugs under control. Some of them eat mosquitoes, the nasty pests that feast on blood and spread disease. Because they eat so many bugs, they are great for farming. They eat the bugs that would otherwise eat farmers' crops. Bats that eat fruit can help spread seeds. Inside a fruit are the seeds of the tree or plant that grew the fruit. When a bat eats the fruit, it does not digest the seed. Instead, the seed leaves the bat as part of its waste. This can happen far away from the tree or plant where the bat first found the fruit. There, a new tree or plant can grow. Bats that eat different parts of flowering plants are helpful pollinators. As they go from flower to flower, they move the plant's pollen to different flowers. This makes it possible for the plants to grow new seeds. More than 500 different kinds of plants need bats to pollinate their flowers. They include some kinds of cocoa, bananas, and mangoes. So if you see a bat, remember how much they help out. Now that we've read the text, let's think about it. As you might remember, an opinion is what someone thinks about something or the way they feel about it. Reasons are facts that explain why they might have that opinion. What is the author's opinion in this text? What reasons does he or she give? Pause the video now and think about the opinion and then think about some reasons he or she gives in the text. Remember, you can go back and look at the text for help. Now that you've thought about it, let's talk about those reasons. You might remember the opinion is that the author thinks that bats are important. Now think about the reasons that he or she gave in the text that support how important those bats are. Pause the video now and answer this question. Now that you've answered that question in a discussion, let's write about it. Using your journal on page two, write three reasons the author gives for his or her opinion. When you're finished, share this with a teacher, family member, or friend. Remember, you can go back in the text. Thank you.